Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this cut crease type of look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm not saying I'm the best at cut creases because I'm not. I haven't mastered it completely, but this is my take on a cut crease. I also want to thank Glambot.com for partnering up with me for this video and made this video happen. I got a lot of my stuff that I used in this video through Glambot. So if you guys have never heard of Glambot before, they're basically an online website where you guys can sell brand new or used makeup to them and they also sell it back so it's kind of like a recycling process where it's a win-win they have anything from mac urban decay they have velour lashes they have morphe um so they have everything and all the brands that we love and also new customers can take advantage of the 30 percent off coupon code that I will leave in the description box so be sure to check that out. The items sell really really fast especially the limited edition items so be sure to look out for the ones that you like. Also I would highly 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 recommend you guys to sign up on their mailing list so you guys can get the first dibs on the promotions. They'll always send out emails like for buy one get one free promotions and all that good stuff so you can get extra discounts on top of the already good price that you're getting from them also for the month of november we know thanksgiving is coming up black friday is coming up so they're gonna have a really really big sale so be sure to prepare yourselves for that but anyways i'm not gonna talk anymore um let's just jump into the tutorial so as i mentioned in my previous video i've been doing my eyebrows a little bit differently lately and i've been using the benefit precisely my brow pencil and the goof proof ones and i'm also using the uh, browsings and these are amazing so to start it off i'm going to be using my soft ochre paint pot put this all over the lids with my finger and yes i am in need of a manicure like really bad then i'm just gonna set it with a powder as i normally would just very lightly so i recently got the morphe 35p palette from lambot so first i'm gonna go ahead and go into this color right here so go ahead and grab some tape and just angle it out the way you would normally do your eyeliner and i'm gonna be using my morphe m330 and i'm gonna put this directly onto my crease back and forth back and forth and then you want to bring it out to where that tape is okay I'm gonna go in with this color right here I'm just gonna be using my morphe m330 again I feel like this eye is much easier to do cut creases on. I'm going to be mixing this one and this one right here, the two. And I'm going to be using my Sigma Blending E36 brush. And this is one of my favorite brushes for detail work. But as you can see, this one though on this side is just blends out amazingly. And then I'm going back into the mauve color. Just kind of blend it on top. Bring it up. So the line's not too, too harsh, you know. Just take off the tape once you're done. So you kind of have winged out outline. Next, I'm going to go back into my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut the crease now. I'm just going to use my Sigma E58. It should look something like that. It's okay if it's a little bit like messy. But as long as you get the base down, it's all good, mamas. For the lid, I'm going to be using the Ideal Duo by Dose of Colors. And this is in the color Shell. So I'm going to first apply the cream with my finger all over the lid. How beautiful is that pigment though? Applying it with like... This Coastal Scents brush, I don't have the number or the name. I'm not going to spritz my brush with Fix Plus or anything. I'm just going to directly apply that. And you guys just see how amazingly beautiful this color is. It's time for the liner. Okay, pray to God that I can get this 
on camera because it's really hard. I put on mascara. So I also got this from Glambot. This is the Velour Lashes in the Style Flash It. I'm gonna be applying my Dr. Brandt Pores No More. I really, really do see a difference actually. Um, I just have to like really work it in like little by little like this. <clears throat> but you can really see that it really blurs out your pores. It really fill in like those little pores and just helps your foundation look more smooth and everything like that. And just to bring back some glow and some dewiness to the face, I like to apply my Becca Backlight Primer. I like to apply it on my T-zone. Just because surprisingly, I do like being dewy on that area. I just feel like it looks healthier. And I like to put that on the highest points of my cheeks as well. For foundation today, I'm going to be mixing my two Milani foundations in the shade 5 and 7. It's, it's amazing. And then for concealer today, I also got this one from Glamba. This is the Makeup Forever HD Concealer in Y23. Mm. Let me see. Yeah, this is definitely the color that I would go for. Perfect. It's a little really does go a long way, so you don't need to apply that much. Blend everything out. So before I set my face, I've been enjoying this Sephora... What is this called? Radiant Luminizing Drop. This is in Morning Light. And I like to put this on the highest points of my cheeks. Just to give me that glow. And then also right over here. Alright, so once I'm done with that, then I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to set my under eyes with the NYX Banana Powder. And I'm just going to be taking my Morphe M438 brush. Also my T-Zone. I'm going to set the rest of my face with my LA Girl Pro Face HD Powder. <laughs> and I'm just going to avoid touching the highlighted areas. So I'm going to be using my Becca Champagne Pop. As you can see. And it looks just so natural. Even Rex complimented me on it. So I was like, hmm, don't mind if I do. It just looks like you're really glowing from within. You don't need to wet your brush. Nothing. And then for bronzer today, I'm going to be using a Give Me Sun by MAC. And then I'm using the Luxie 504 Angled Brush. So we're basically done with the face. And now we're going to move back onto the eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this mauve color that we first used and the darker one right here. I'm going to take those right underneath my eyes right here. And then I'm going to be taking this color right here to just highlight my inner corner. And then another thing that I got from Glambot is this Urban Decay Stark Naked Lip Liner. Alright, and then to top it off, I'm going to use a Dose of Colors Truffle. 